Okay, good morning everyone. This is Melissa Armo with the Stop Swish and I'm going to review the spy here today with the rum. The reason is because it was one of the best gaps I've actually seen in the spy since, since the last gap that I saw as good as this was here. The day of the turnaround flip day, March 1st. So I haven't seen a bullish gap as good as the bullish gap today in the market since March 1st. There was a, it's different though. The reason is because you could have been aggressive in the morning, long this gap back here from March, March, April, May, June, July, four and a half months. So there were lots of other bullish gaps, but I'm saying I haven't seen a gap this good in the market since here. You could have aggressively gone long this bullish gap, this not so much. So I knew that today and I actually said, you know what? I said to Paul this morning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate the market gap because I said, I just wanna make sure that this is really gonna hold because I think we actually hold today. And I, and I eyeball stuff and then I rate it, usually in the morning for the stocks that I trade, I always rate them. But I eyeball the gap every morning and just look at it, I don't rate the gap every morning. I can't remember the last time I even rated, rated the SPY, but I felt compelled to do it today because I thought, gosh, this is crazy, but it's not crazy at all. So I gave the lecture yesterday and I said, who, who, where are you gonna have red in here? You're not gonna have any red because people haven't been long the market, number one. Number two, it's new money coming in and buying up the market and, and, and so where are you gonna have any red? If you have shorts exiting, it's going to cause green. If you have buying, it's green. If you have new money coming in because we went over the high, it's green. Why would you have any selling? The only way you'd have any red is if people shorted the market. And I and you might have had some of that yesterday, but not so much. And I said I thought once we get over the high that when we didn't have the short squeeze, because we didn't have a short squeeze, we didn't. This isn't a short squeeze at all. I said when we didn't have the short squeeze, that people are probably waiting to see if we hold up the next level, which is 220, and then, then we may get shorted more. People are waiting for an extended rally up here. Look at this. We just went over. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Here, did I, no one did this. Galahad, did you do this? Did any single person here in the room do this call here today? Because this was the best gap. It was too late for me to take it. It was a long. Did anyone do it though? I actually think there's a possibility this could go to 220. I don't know where we close today, but we could power trend up all day now. That sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it actually could be true. Galahad held off. This is we're going to we're going to have a big bar today in the market. Like when I say size, it's going to look like this or this or this or this or this. You have enough options, okay? So so anyways, I rated the market gap and it rated 23 points today, and that is a really good bullish gap. I mean, this is something you just don't see every day. And I think it's one of these things that people think is impossible that it could possibly hold because we're so many days up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 days we've rallied up. And yesterday we counted the bullish gaps. Yesterday we counted them. Let's count them again today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine bullish gaps, nine bullish gaps in 12 trading days. There's, there's nobody's gonna sell. No one's gonna sell when the move is just beginning here now. And I predicted it to happen and I read the money in the chart. Oh, I know the question. Angeline had asked me a question about reading stuff in past price data. She said she just doesn't believe it's possible, but it absolutely is possible because that's one of the ways that I actually predict moves, okay? Uh, technical analysis is powerful if you know the right things to look at. If you do not know the right things to look at, then it seems like it doesn't do you any good, just like moving averages or any other indicators. Now, I don't live and die by these things. I have them on my chart, but I don't, I don't make trading decisions based solely on these things. They're helpful, but you know, the price of what is the price that the stock has traded at in previous price action is actually important because there were trades that went off in all of these bars. There were longs, there were shorts, there were sellers. So it does help and it is meaningful. The problem is that many, many people, again, are not focused on the right thing. What is the right thing to focus on the gaps? But not every gap is important. Not every gap is important. Not every up gap can you go long. Not every down gap can you short. Not every up gap could you trade to fall. You know, like if people were trading this for a gap fill yesterday, where did it go? And I gave a long, long, long lecture yesterday about pullbacks. Look at this. You were waiting for a pullback in the market. You, you, you look, it's run up $5. If you were waiting for this to pull back, we talked about this yesterday. Where's it going to pull back now? I mean, we will pull back eventually, but where? Where do I think it is? It could be here. We could keep running up. We could run up all the way to 220 and through it and then pull back here. 
there's nobody here we could pull back here here's here's where i think we really pull back now let's let me just look at this i think we pull back here to the previous high right around here snug as a bug in a rug i don't know when this is probably where we pull back nowhere near any of these areas so we could keep going here we could keep going up to 220 or beyond so for those of you that are long any overnights that are strong stocks hold them on through if you're long any options that are longs that are strong longs hold them on through and if you have 401ks and you're in quality longs just hold them all through i mean the market's higher the market's higher the rest of the year after this now this kind of trading action everything looks good so once again i just referred to the rating system to determine what this would do today but i knew it wasn't going to be a fast setup so i didn't take it because i like the quick trades longs take longer to set up that's why i prefer to short it, you know it's half a dozen one and the other you can make money going long if you if you went long this year today in my call you made money i called this right in here stop was 215.80 and it was right around this number in here it was like 25 cents so wherever you hit it in here 25 30 cents it ran up over the high and the next number it's hit over the high it's green in the day the next number was 217 and in any pullback here you can go long like this was the low of the day like this isn't going to retrace itself now and this could just keep going so we'll see how we close today i think the body of the green of the color of the green of the body has a nice size to it in fact i think it's going to be bigger than this one here so we pulled in this day here and was a long this is a small body i think the body today has a more sizable body it has the same tail this is a longer tail but i think the body has a more size that could mean another gap up tomorrow which sounds insane but it very well could so let's say today we run up to 217 to 217 between 217 to 18 that would only be a two dollar move in the day for the spy which is nothing we could gap up tomorrow and run up to 220. We could gap neutral and run up to 220. We could gap down a little and run up to 220. I don't I don't know how we not keep going up, to be honest with you. I'm just letting you know. So this is new money that bought the market up. It was a really good gap today. It's so good that we could continue it tomorrow. And and we could power trend all day. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to make another high again. So does anyone have any questions about this? If not, it was just a bullish day today. It was one of those days where you can't go short unless there's something amazing to short, unless you're, you're like, oh my gosh, I have to short this. There was nothing to short today. I, I said I you couldn't pay me to short today. And the longs, unfortunately, were very, very late setups, but they definitely were longs. Does anyone have any questions on this? For those of you that are in the option trade that have the two cents or the three cents, you're, you know, you're, you're more than double your money now. You maybe triple it. I'll have to look at it later. All right, good job, everyone. This is Melissa at the Stockswish.com. If you have any questions, email me at Melissa at the Stockswish.com.